hello my dear students today is the first day of your class uh, biology uh, and uh, i will be taking the first lecture my name is chandan kumar the first important uh, topic uh, under chapter life process that you have to study is life, uh, nutrition so before beginning this subtopic uh, let us first discuss what is life so life can be defined as a unique complex organization of molecule expressing itself through chemical reaction which lead to growth development res responsiveness adaptation and reproduction uh, the maintenance function the maintenance function of living organism must go on even when they are not doing anything particular the process which together perform uh, this maintenance job is only known as life process so whatever you do even when you sleep you don't do anything but your at organ level you your organ is functioning so whatever the thing uh, that is necessity there is the necessity of those activities to carry out day in day out uh, makes life process uh, go successfully so life basically it's a complex uh, organization of different aspect of things like molecule which express itself uh, and it leads to reaction responsible for growth development responsiveness adaptation reproduction and various physiological activities day in day out you, uh, in, inside your body and the function that you carry out to lead your life in a very healthy way that is called as life process all right so all living things uh, perform certain life processes all right the basic function performed by living organism for survival of body uh, survival and body maintenance that is called as life process in short so you, you can go through the small definition given in the introduction slide now coming to the uh, types of uh, uh, nutrition because the the major topic that you have to deal in life of the first important topic that is called as nutrition so what is nutrition kindly please uh, hear my words with, uh, what i am saying nutrition uh, basically uh, it is also called as nourishment or element right element a l i m e n t element it's a provision or process by which organism obtain and use nutrient required for maintaining life so it's a pro process you can see a process or a provision by which organism obtain and use the nutrient required for maintaining life uh, how many types of nutrition are there so at your level you have to study about um, autotropic mode of nutrition you have to study about heterotropic mode of nutrition and uh, also you have to uh, study about symbiotic mode of nutrition that is parasite that include parasitic mode of nutrition okay so on the basis of uh, nature of the nutrient okay it can be classified nutrients can be classified into various types like example if you are uh, typing it on the basis of nature okay uh, this is basically grouped uh, into uh, what you say uh, broadly actually as it actually includes the chemical uh, part of the uh, nutrient if you are just going to type the nutrient on the basis of organic nature it actually include carbohydrate lipid protein and vitamin and if you are going to type it according to the inorganic uh, uh, nature depending on the in inorganic nature this basically include mineral salt and water all these are uh, in one way or other way forms of different nu uh, nutrients depending on the function um, base uh, means or the quantity you can say you can divide nutrient uh, into two types right it can be macronutrient it can be micronutrient if you are saying macronutrient this simply means large amount of uh, 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 means uh, nutrient which is required for organism right example include carbohydrate water fat protein etc and micronutrient this basically this is actually required by organism in low amount low amount if i am saying it means uh, example like uh, mineral salt vitamins etc so coming to the uh, modes of nutrition autotropic modes means kind of nutrition please go to the slide a kind of nutrition in which organism can synthesize their own food example includes green plant in heterotropic mode of nutrition the second type of nutrition it's a, it's a kind of nutrition uh, of which organism do not uh, possess the ability to synthesize their own food and they have to depend on the other uh, organism for food supply so this actually include animal as well as fungi my dear student i have not uh, classified uh, 
parasitic nutrition separately rather i have uh, sub classified heterotopic mode of nutrition to three sub categories so i will be discussing uh, accordingly so i was talking about autotopic mode of nutrition so those organism that which perform such type of autotrophic mode of nutrition are known as autotroph and these basically are green plants especially and also certain uh, organism which uses chemical for uh, synthesis of their own food material like uh, green sulfur bacteria all right so in heterotrophic mode of nutrition hetero means uh, other trophos means nutrition so heterotrophic mode of nutrition is that mode of nutrition which organism cannot make their own food material from simple inorganic material like carbon dioxide water but actually depends on other organism for its food supply those organism basically which cannot make their own food from inorganic substance like carbon dioxide water they have to depend on other organism definitely for their food supply and they are called as heterotrophs so basically it includes many examples you can cite out many examples like for example man dog cat lion etc most bacteria and fungi so there are many examples so so regarding uh, heterotrophic mode of nutrition it is further divided into three types as you can see in the uh, fourth slide that uh, it is divided into three types one is saprotrophic nutrition other one is parasitic nutrition and the third one is called as holozoic mode of nutrition so in case of first of all uh, we will discuss one by one saprophytic uh, first one is saprotrophic mode of mode of nutrition and the organism performing such type of nutrition are saprotrophs so in this type of nutrition organism obtain food from dead decaying organic matter sapro simply means rotten okay so those organism actually derive nutrition from the dead decaying organic matter example basically include there are many examples uh, uh, you can bread mold you can include bread mold uh, rhizopus you can include you can uh, uh, actually include monotropa next type is parasitic mode of nutrition uh, where uh, uh, one there actually this type of mode of nutrition depend uh, include two type of organism one which actually thrives on the other organism that is known as parasite and uh, the one the other organism on which the parasite depends that is called as host so it's a such type of mode of nutrition in which organism derives its food from the body of another living organism thereby causing harm to it so it is also known as uh, host parasite relationship a parasite basically is a organism which can be a plant or animal which feeds on other living organism called as host and the host may be plant or animal too parasite mode of nutrition parasitic mode of nutrition is observed in several fungi bacteria uh, also in plants like cascata it's a very rare example and a very common example which is mostly asked in common language we say cascata as amar bale so i have also added one slide for cascata if you haven't observed in your day to day life you just go through the slide you will uh, come to know that you might have observed it accidentally okay next example can include plasmodium which causes malaria so there are many examples i have added examples in my experiment i have added a few more examples in slide also so you can go through all those examples okay so in case of the next type that is holozoic mode of nutrition that is the th uh, third very important type of heterotrophic mode of nutrition uh, which means feeding on solid food so most of the animals uh, take their solid food into their body by process called as ingestion and these these includes uh, organism simple organism like amoeba ranging to the higher form of organism that is human being and the holozoic mode of nutrition is that nutrition in which an organism takes complex food material into its body by the process called ingestion and they complete they actually take food material completely the ingested food is digested and then absorbed into body cell of various organism so ranging different examples you can cite human being and most of the animals perform such type of uh, mode of nutrition including amoeba so i have added a slide that how amoeba engulf food material so you can go through the slide and please uh, uh, follow the explanatory part that i i i have explained there that how it is going to uh, swallow the food material so it is a step wise process so my dear student you can see uh, uh, different examples of uh, uh, 
modes of nutrition that I have discussed that is uh, heterotropic mode uh, first one is saprotropic nutrition so you can see here this is a bread which has been infected by uh, fungi okay and uh, this is basically an example of saprotropic mode of nutrition uh, or actually organism obtain their food from dead decaying organic matter uh, it can include plant it can include uh, various food materials plant body animal wood dead animal body dead plant body etc all right This is the next type of uh, heterotropic mode of nutrition that is parasitic uh, where you can see a very beautiful uh, picture of uh, cascata and uh, definitely it is not going to have anything that a plant has definitely it will infect plant by injecting a very uh, unique injected part that is a modified uh, or you can say it's a specialized tissue that is called as uh, hostoria it injects that hostoria into the uh, this xylem and phloem part of the plant and from there it is going to derive nutrition thereby making harm to the plant finally making plant dead so this is how it works and this is the diagram please go through it yes my dear student the final uh, type of uh, holozoic nutrition that you have to see in amoeba that is holozoic nutrition uh, there are two steps which this amoeba follow especially the process of endocytosis first step and the second step is exocytosis so uh, this endocytosis uh, is a step in which uh, food material is engulfed inside the body of uh, an organism uh, and this it does with the help of plasma membrane or the pseudopodia which is actually made of plasma membrane uh, once the food material is captured with this uh, pseudopodia by formation of involucral cup, cup shaped structure the food material gets internalized once it gets internalized the process of endocytosis completes now inside the body of amoeba this uh, intake of the food material will undergo digestion step with the different lytic enzymes acting on it and once the food material is digested now the unwanted digested food material will not remain inside the body of amoeba because that can uh, actually uh, later on can cause toxicity and need to be removed uh, immediately so the amoeba with the same uh, cellular membrane structure that is pseudopodia is going to expel the excretory food material and this it does with the help of process known as exocytosis so basically endocytosis and exocytosis basically is a step of phagocytosis so entire process of uh, holozoic nutrition in amoeba is basically or can ex can be basically explained with the concept of phagocytosis so phagocytosis in this step it, it will include two very important steps that is called as endocytosis and exocytosis and this is how the mechanism can be well explained please go through the explanation that i have given and follow the slides very strictly and clearly thank you